Hi guys, it's Robin from My Alkaline Vegan Journey and as promised, a little late, I'm gonna go make the things for my birthday. My birthday is tomorrow and even though I'm fasting, we're on day 14 of our 40 day all water fast, My Alkaline Vegan Journey's fast and I'm Robin and I have my birthday tomorrow. I won't be eating, I won't be drinking but I will be providing some of my friends food and drinks. And I'm gonna sit and watch them eat and drink while blasting music, dancing, and enjoying my birthday here in St. Lucia. So stay tuned, let's get started. Now, what I've done already is put together the crust. I had to run to the store because the lady sold me two bowls of which I only got one. And I need it so I can preserve my ice cream and uh, cakes and all that. So this is what we're gonna do. Now I've already blended, and I have parts of a video that started, my dates and walnuts. And what I decided to do, because I don't have any coconut oil, ah! Lord, please don't let me break my one and only, and that's why I don't like this hard plastic. I'm going to re-blend the crust, which is nothing but dates, walnuts, and sea salt. And y'all give me a minute with uh, the comments and everything. Like I said, it's Robin from my Alkaline Vegan Journey, and i got to open the back door because I'm telling you, I'm burning. So hold tight. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, the only way that the uh, air really flows is when I open the back door. I always keep the front door open. But yeah, let's do this. So um, I had to soak some of my sea moss, and it doesn't need to be soaked too much. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop the um, crust back into the um, blender so that I can add the sea moss to it. So it gels a little bit. So let's do this. It's kind of solidified, might be enough. I'm not gonna add too much, but this will give the uh, dates another spin. Sounds like I hear the horses coming down the street. We have loads of horses here as a mode of transportation and they use them because the beach is right in my backyard um, they use them to walk the beach with the tourists <laughs> the tourists check that out I'm now a local <laughs> I love it and they call me a local I love it I love it so yeah let's take this is the sea moss that I soaked so my, I'm not going to take too much. Let's see if we can find a small strain. You know, about this much might be enough. And this stuff, I'm telling you, this stuff is really good. This is my sea moss, harvested from the floor of the sea, off the coral, cut. I want enough for this. Could tell I didn't. I need freaking scissors. What is that? Cause I didn't let it soak a lot. But I hope this. Is, I cannot believe I can't get it off of here. 
There we are. That's all we need. Let's continue to let that soak. And because of uh, my setup, guys, we're gonna have to, you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit. I'm gonna just smush that up in there. And the only reason why I'm doing this is to give the crust a little more, um, you know, texture so that it doesn't just crumble up when I cut it. So let's do this. And as you can see, it has no liquids in this. Let's put the top on. Hope you, you all can see this pretty well. I have to keep my phone stationary. Gotta keep going back and forth because there's no liquid in there. You don't want any liquid. Here comes the music. I think these people party all day and all night. And thinking about it, I might want to add a little bit of water simply because I added the um, sea moss. Just a little bit. this. This is the magic. I'm going to try to prop this so that I'm telling you, I, I got to wax my nose. All these hairs in my nose. Uh, I'm going to try to prop this so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Pour this right into the dish. Yeah, this is perfect. I think Monday is the only day when they don't really party party. Because Sunday... And every day before, besides Monday, the music is just blasting. And I've kind of gotten used to it because, and we don't, it doesn't matter if we clear this completely simply because we're going to uh, use that for our filling. And this is going to be a mango cheesecake. Mango cheesecake! And what I do is I just smash it along the bottom like this to make the crust. 
And that's it. I think this consistency came out even better. With that little bit of water and the sea moss. I should have stirred it up some more. Because I can see the white pieces from the sea moss all in one area. So yeah, let's just smooth it around again. That's perfect. These flies better get away from me. And this is what I get for opening the doors. But I gotta have that breeze flow through. You all see how that is? Just smooth it around. And I'm gonna make cupcakes and ice cream and some cookies. All alkaline vegan. So you all just hang with me. Okay. Now it's time to make the the filling. And the filling, let me go through this because this is an experiment. Of course, I've never done this before. We add the walnuts. I'm trying to figure out which to add first. And I only take a couple handfuls because the star of the show is the mango. Walnuts. That was about two handfuls. Then I gotta pick the dates. Okay, let's, I usually use about eight or ten of these things. Can I get the top off? Yeah. And then um, the, the part that makes it like cheesecake is the little bit of salt and the key limes. Let me get through this quickly. Like she fly, don't bother me. Now this is how I make my uh, walnut milk. Dates, walnuts, and a little bit of spring water. But I'm gonna put all of this in the container together and guess what, we're gonna be done. The only thing that's gonna be really difficult is the uh, key limes because I don't have a, uh, I want it sweet. And I believe that the mangoes are going to be extra sweet because I let them ripen until they were like falling off the seed. So I want to say that's about eight um, dates. And then the mango right off the seed. This. So I'm going to add the mangoes. everything in the pan together I man in the blender together she's one of these big ones I have one key lime that I can use right now so I take I, I found these um, on the tree I've got loads of them but they have so many seeds I'm going to use about four of them because I like mine tart. I hate not having that squeezer thing. I don't got so used to it. They usually have a lot of juice. What's the other half? There it is. And that's when I saw it had seeds. Pick the seeds, save your seeds. Save your seeds, people. Save your seeds. I'm gonna blend this to oblivion. So when I blend, I'm just gonna look at the comments. Little drip drops. 
don't let me forget to add the sea moss. Cause I can see myself doing that too. These things have so many seeds, it's not even funny. That's a good thing. So many seeds. Y'all tap the screen, tap the screen until I can get there. Tap the screen, we wanna make sure our ratings are up. I haven't even seen who's, who's home. I told y'all I was coming back on because I'm preparing for my birthday. And tomorrow at uh, 9 p.m., I'm going to um, go live for my birthday. So y'all come join me in celebrating my birthday. Grab your, 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 your drinks and your food and just join us virtually. Please celebrate my birthday with me. Because I'm in a new place. I know my friends from... Uh, Shoot. From the states are going to be on live too. I don't know why. I'm sure it has something to do with my birthday. I'm going to have to cut the live short for a minute. And I'll be back with you guys to finish. So I've been summoned and I'll be right back. And we got a new family member. I got to say that. Uh, wrong glasses. Uh, Jack, Jackie. Uh, Althea Webby, or Weber. Welcome to the family. I want you to come back in about 30 minutes. I gotta go, uh, you know, they're always trying to surprise me. But yeah, Jackie, welcome to the family and welcome home. The family will welcome you as well. But uh, it's uh, four o'clock. Meet me back here for the continuation of my key lime, not key lime, my cheesecake and the cookies, cupcakes, and ice cream. So I'll be back.